In this video, we'll be showing you how to send Slack alerts if a Fivetran sync fails. Let's dive right in. So we can start off inside of Fivetran and look at the, the connector that we're going to sync inside of Shipyard in just a second, and that's going to be this Google Sheets solution video test. So now we can jump over into Shipyard and get that sync started. Uh, so to do that, we can search for our Fivetran blueprints. So we start, want to start with our execute sync blueprint that will start that, connect, uh, start that connection sync. Uh, whenever you click on that vessel, it's going to pop up and ask you if you want to view the Fivetran authorization guides. Um, if it's your first time using it and you need to find your API key in secret, that'll walk you through the steps to do that. So I'm going to close that for right now. Let's rename our vessel to execute sync. And again, I'm going to grab my API key and API secrets. Inputs. As well as my connector ID that's also from Fivetran. Um, so whenever you're setting up a vessel, you can also set up notifications based on an error or a completed on-demand run. And we also have guardrails to protect against the number of retries, the time between retries, and then runtime cutoff as well. So now that execute sync vessel is done, we can go we can go back to our five train blueprints and set up a check sync status vessel. So we can name that check sync status. So this vessel is going to go back and check to see whether that connector has failed or succeeded. Um, so again, we want, we want our API key in secret to go to go to Fivetran again. And we can leave our connector ID blank since it's connected to execute sync. So we want to connect those. Okay, so now that our Fivetran sync is ready to go, it's set up to start and it's set up to check whether it's failed or completed. Uh, we, we now want to go back we now want to go back and uh, add in our Slack vessel to send that alert in case it fails. So we're going to do our Slack send message. So our vessel name will be sends failure alert. We'll send it to a channel. Uh, the channel we'll all send it to our Slack testing channel. Uh, I'm going to tell it to notify me, so it'll send the message in the channel, but it will ping me directly, telling me to go look at that channel to look at that alert. Uh, our message will be. Um, the five trend sync failed, and then we'll need our Slack token for that to work. So paste that in there. And then lastly, we want to connect those together, but instead of that being a success, we want that to be, if it's an error, send that alert. Um, so the last thing we do before we run is we want to name our fleet. So we'll name that five trend to Slack. And so we want to click save and finish. So this is going to take us to a page that's going to tell us that the fleet has been created successfully. So we want to go ahead and click run your fleet. Uh, so this is going to give us an on-demand run. Um, as well as doing on-demand runs, you can we also have triggers that you can use to kick off these fleets. Um, so we have those based on schedules. So you can run those uh, hourly, daily, weekly, uh, however often that you would like. And then you can also use a webhook API to start these um, to start these fleets running as well using an API call. Uh, so you can see now that we're on our fleet log. Um, and so you can see in our Gantt chart here, it's going to show each one of these vessels running. So I can click into one of these to, sh to see the live output happening. Uh, so you can see this one has already succeeded and it's told us that the sync has been successfully triggered for that connector. Um, so I can go back to our vessel log. You can see that that, that sync status failed. So that means that our, our five train connector or connector has failed. So we should have that Slack notification being sent out now. You can see that's that's being kicked off here since that failed. So that is completed. So now I should be able to go into Slack and see that it, it, it pinged me and it says the five trend sync failed. If you have any questions about this solution or any other potential solution, use the link in the description to set up a time to chat with our team of data experts. You can go to shipyardapp.com to start building powerful workflows just like this for free. Want to see us tackle more solutions? Check out these related videos.